Kill Bull. It's pretty awesome. What's happening guys? This is Big Cat for your uh, weekly fishing report. I'm a little bit behind on posting it. Been chasing them thunder chickens, but wanted to give you your average Joe's uh, Lake Chickamauga fishing report. Um, big player for me lately. Let's see if I can get this out. It's a Zoom Z Craw. The full size Z Craw. Been flipping on a five odd hook. Uh, excuse me, four odd hook, uh, quarter ounce weight. Uh, that's been catching me a lot of fish. Um, and I'm finding these fish, I mean, I'm still catching them in spawning pockets and right outside of the spawning pockets. Starting to catch post-spawn fish now. Caught one yesterday that had a five pound head but only weighed 3.6. Um, so they're starting to get post-spawn. There's still plenty of waves that are gonna move up, especially since the water, I checked yesterday, it was 1.7 feet below full pool. Um, so this month we'll hit full pool and I think a lot of those fish are waiting for that stabilization of that water. Um, I've been fishing mainly from about, I don't know, Soddy Creek down. Uh, probably more like lakeside down. That's kind of usually where I usually like to stay and fish around. Um, uh, flipping docks and brush have been good too, and then dragging that around in some spotting pockets. Uh, another, this is probably my favorite bait of all times. Caught me more fish on Chickamauga than any other bait, period. It's just a shaky head. Um, that is a quarter ounce um, shaky head. Um, got it from Saudi Custom Tackle. Um, and I've been using their shake heads for a long time and I throw a shake head um, a lot different than most people do. I actually throw it on bait casting gear as you can see. That's 17 pound test with a quarter ounce shaky head and I jack them. Um, regular trick worm on it, that's always been my favorite. I've tried other worms but I haven't really liked it. I know a lot of people throw like the Yum Dinger on it or a Senko and I think it's too heavy and it kind of overpowers the shaky head. You want that worm to stand up and that head to dig. If you get something, the worm that's heavier than the hook in the head can handle, then you know, you basically should be throwing a Texas rig. Um, so I love that. And then I have been catching a few on just an old Rebel Popper, um, throwing that real shallow, like in those spawning pockets. Um, I've been throwing that super shallow or where I could find shade. Um, but I've only caught a few fish doing that. That's kind of here or there, very specific. I pull up to a spot in their shade and in a spawning pocket and fish spawn around, then I'll pick that up and, and catch a few on that. But shaky head um, and a zoom Z crawl has definitely been some players. And I have caught a few on a drop shot. Um, I've caught a few on that, but if I don't have to throw a spinner rod, then I don't want to. So um, that's kind of how I've been. But I've been catching some steals in the backs of creeks and stuff. And then I'm starting to catch them flipping docks coming out of the creeks. And now I'm starting to catch them on points. Um, and then today is Wednesday. Um, I believe it is May 1st, maybe. Let me see here. Yep, Wednesday, May 1st. Um, then Toyota Series on Chickamauga starts tomorrow. And it's a very freaking busy lake. Uh, it's been that way for the last couple days with Toyota Series. Every creek and every pocket's got a boat in it. So it's been pretty tough. Um, you know, to find a pocket or area by yourself. So you're gonna have to start fishing some of that maybe it doesn't look as good um, just to try to get out of the traffic because that's what I've had to do and I'm still catching fish and I'm catching fish behind a lot of those guys. Um, I see a lot of those guys throwing, you know, wacky rig Senkos, but I think on Chickamauga they've seen about 100,000 of those and they still work, but if I can catch them on a Zoom Z crawl the quarter ounce weight, I really, really don't see many people doing that. So, I mean, it's something they probably don't see compared to like a worm or a Senko. Um, you know, that they see every day that everybody's got tied on. I don't see a lot of people throwing a Z crawl um, a lot. And I like that shake head because almost with no graph, I don't have any depth finder on this boat. Um, I catch a lot of fish on that shake head. Like I said, it's my favorite bait, but I also use it so I can feel that bottom to see that bottom composition. If it's, is it really hard? Um, you know, is it pea gravel? Is it rock? Um, it's almost, I kind of use it as my depth finder. Um, but yeah, been still catching them in the backs of creeks, spawning pockets, flipping wood. Um, haven't caught any in grass. I've tried to lately, 
and it just ain't happening. I'm kind of waiting for that duckweed to pop because usually I catch them really good in that duckweed for those uh, post spawn fish, um, but I haven't found any of that yet. Um, but still catching spawning fish. Hopefully, y'all catch them.